why when I say they will have sporadic wins here and there, but consistency on a run. Nah, it's not happening. Regardless of how the mainstream want to push it, regardless of your former players, Jimmy Carragher, Gary Neville and Co. who like to push these propagandas and agendas for Liverpool, it's not working. You can't push the agenda as much as you want. You know the problem. They don't have the legs and lungs. The midfield is in shambles. Fabinho looks like he's 48. I thought he was 38. It was 20. It was 28. Someone check his passport. Henderson. Done running on films. Then I understand because I've scores of injury, but at the same time, it's not about the injury, something is just wrong. The system has fallen apart. The pace is taking a toll on you guys. I don't believe Club have lost it, even though uh, to be good for me to banter Club. I don't think Club have lost. I think the team need, needs refreshing. <laughs> Liverpool back. Mm. I thought you said Liverpool were back, right? Yeah, they had a very good win. They had fought win against Manchester City on the weekend. Then midweek, they are they struggled, they struggled and struggled to another solitary win against West Ham. West Ham should have nicked a draw, but it is what it is. But I still told you guys, they are not back. You cannot run if you can walk. Uh, back from where? Yeah, back from Ojolega. Olipan Pan Groove. <laughs> See, this is his banter. It's going to be long. It's going to be painful. It's going to be excruciating. Let me give an example. To those of you that I'm being sensitive, I'm not being insensitive, rather. Mm. To those that haven't had toothache, you know how excruciating that pain is. That's how Liverpool's season is going to be excruciating and painful this season. It's going to be painful. Yeah. Be on a sharp decline. Like I said, it. You go check my archive. You can see the video when I when I say they will have sporadic wins here and there, but consistency on a run. Nah, it's not happening. Regardless of how the mainstream want to push it, regardless of your former players, Jimmy Carragher. Gary Neville and Co. who like to push these propagandas and agendas for Liverpool is not working. You can't push the agenda as much as you want. You know the problem. They don't have the legs and lungs. The midfield is in shambles. Fabinho looks like he's 48. I thought he was 38. It was 20. It was 28. Someone check his passport. Henderson done running on films. Then I understand because I've scores of injury, but at the same time, it's not about the injury. Something is just wrong. The system has fallen apart. The pace is taking a toll on you guys. I don't believe Club have lost it, even though uh, to be good for me to banter Club. I don't think Club have lost. I think the team need, needs refreshing in terms of personnel wise. You need a few more signings to actually get you back. But all these deceits or propagandas pushed by the mainstream and some of your content creators saying you guys are bad, you're not coming back. You're not competing for the Premiership title. Hell no. Maybe. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced that you'll make it to top four. Maybe there's a possibility, which I doubt. Will I place a bet on you guys sneaking to top four? Absolutely not. I don't think you have the players. Maybe generally you guys can actually uh, decide to reinvest in the squad, maybe bring in two or three players in the midfield or one in the attack, one in the wings. I, I get it. The excuse of injury. I know Konate is out, Diaz is out, Massive is out. You have, you have, you have scores of players that are out, but at the same time, let's 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 run this logic. We Liverpool fans take the Nottingham Forest players first eleven or take the first eleven and start this game. That's when you know that you guys have been disingenuous. You will not swap your eleven that play this game for the Nottingham Forest eleven, meaning you can see have superior players. In my opinion, none of the Nottingham Forest players will make it to the first eleven of Liverpool players. So, so stop the excuse. Mm, we are not, we are not, we are not that. We can apply some logic. Mm, you are not back. You are not back. Like I said, your off season is going to be painful. It's going to be excruciating. The banter is going to be. I'm going to enjoy my the, this season. See, you guys have given not given to us for the past few seasons, and it's good. Now it's time to receive. We've been taken. It's now it's time for people to receive the banter. Ah, a rogo. Mm. Liverpool are not back. Don't let the, the mainstream media deceive you. You are not back from anywhere. 
do not let them deceive you. Do not let them, all these ex-players running some propaganda and agenda for views, because they know the mainstream is lacking behind. They're trying to come to YouTube uh, content creating to create controversy, to bring out hot takes that will actually trigger a lot of people. I'm not falling for that bit. You are not bad. You are struggling. Your team needs uh, need to be resuscitated with an uh, influx of uh, a few players, especially in the midfield. The midfield is a key clog you guys need to fix. Until you fix that, there is no tactic. There is no change of formation that will give you that consistent winning run. You can't have it. You're not going to run. I said I remain resolute to what I said. Go check the academy look at my video. I said it there. You have sporadic wins, but you'll not be consistent with it. You will struggle to make some wins. They might win the next few matches, but that consistency that never Liverpool were known with is gone until you re revitalize the team. It's not coming back. So stop the cap, stop deceiving yourself. Liverpool are not bad. They will struggle to make top four if they are. I, I doubt it they will make top four, but the title, no. You are not competing for the title anymore. And the fact that Arsenal is actually ahead of the summit at the moment. And don't forget Liverpool fans, mind the gap. You know, the gap between you guys and Arsenal is, is getting bigger and bigger. And I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it! It's going to be a very, very exciting season to watch Liverpool decline sharply, watch the pain, the excruciating pain in Liverpool's fans' eyes, see them argue, get at club, even though it's not a problem. You get at each other. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I know Arsenal play tomorrow. Regardless of the results, you guys have actually made my season. Hopefully, Arsenal can actually extend the gap, which I'm hoping. But losing against Nottingham Forest is something to cherish, something to relish. Something that is giving me a, a, a weekend starter that I'm enjoying. So I can actually you know, put my feet up, enjoy the rest of the game. And enjoy tomorrow's game. Hopefully, last night win, put my feet up. And thank you, Liverpool, for giving me a fantastic start to the weekend. Liverpool and on back. Don't deceive yourself. Stop the cap. If you enjoy my content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Stick a like on the video. And turn the show bell. I don't know. Liverpool are back. Oh. They are back. Nee. I'll see you guys on the next one.